Cavecast, the uncensored show for nerds of all kinds. All right, guys, welcome back to the Cavecast. Today, it's a little different. As you can see, we're not in the basement. We are in the Riker Road studio. And today, I am joined by the man himself, Mr. Lee from Infinite Reactions. He is a man that has 80,000 subs with over 3,500 videos, which means that he is no stranger to creating content. Lee, thank you so much for taking the time to do this, man. How are you doing? Pleasure. I'm absolutely fine, mate. How are you, dude? I'm I'm jazzed about this, man. It's it's kind. Of, we were kind of talking before we got started that it's it's feel it feels like you've just always kind of been around since we've been doing absolutely. stuff. So absolutely, being able to mate. being able to actually sit down with you is just is interesting, even if it is from across the world. So just thank you so yeah, much for doing straight it. Straight across the water, man. Yeah, <laughs> across uh, the water. So I, 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 before we start, I've got an observation here. Yeah, I feel like we should be in in each other's room because I'm wearing horror. Oh yeah, Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, and you've got your Batman shirt, and I've got Batman behind me. Hey, it's it's, it's the flip flop. <laughs> it all works. <laughs> It's like it's like yin yang. What's going on? What's what's funny is that dude, like Eric and I have those moments all the time that like there's been many times we've sat down and we've both worn the same shirts and we've shown them for Christmas. And like and like it's like, well, one of us has to change. So but uh yes, to me, definitely. I, I, I think it's one of those things that you just you can't write that kind of stuff. It's just no. it just happens, it's beautiful. So I am honored that I wore this tonight. So that's yes, just so good. And, uh, <laughs> I wore me horror shirt because I knew guys in into horror like well, like I am. So, yeah, dude. So. Hell yeah. So all right, man. So to kick things off is that I got to know mm. is that how long have you been making videos? Like whether it includes YouTube or not, like clearly you do have a process. And I mean, clear, like I even love the fact that you've got your microphone, Mike Shinoda. Like it's like you, <laughs> you know how to this properly make content while having fun. You know, this is Mike Shinoda too. Oh, number two. What happened to the first one? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Still it died. It died. <laughs> the microphone died. So uh, I had to get another one. Did the whole video, put the dramatic music on. I went, I said, it's like, it's a sad day. Put like the, the violin music on. Oh, the man. microphone has died. I said, but never fear. And then slid this microphone in the distance to like dramatic, epic music. Action like, Order 2 was born. That's oh, it. dude. That's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's, yeah. So I'm, I'm curious because it's like with your equipment and how you do everything is that clearly you know how to put videos together, but it's just yes. like when somebody picks up a guitar when they're five or 10 or whatever, there's always a history that goes into that. So take me through what it was like for Lee making your very first video. Very first video. Okay. Well, in lockdown, when everyone was like stuck in the houses, everyone was off the work and everything, you know, they couldn't, couldn't work because everyone was everywhere was shut basically. Yeah. I was just watching YouTube videos on um, on YouTube, obviously, and then I stumbled across Alex Hefner doing a Linkin Park reaction. So I watched this. So I clicked on it, basically, and watched it. I thought, I could do that. I could do that. That's what I thought. That's that's how the process began. So I bought a laptop with a camera, and I'm like, how am I going to do this now? So yeah. I didn't want anyone to see me doing it, because at first I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. How do we do this? How do we talk to a camera? You know what I mean? And then I ended up going to the local hardware store car park, parking right in the corner away from everyone on my phone, on my computer with my phone internet tethered to it, doing the reaction to falling in reverse. <laughs> oh my God. No way. That's crazy. Oh, you want to see my first video, mate? It's terrible. <laughs> so, oh, it's, that's honestly, I, th I think that that's one thing that every content creator can agree with is that uh, uh, what's, what is it? I think it was the way that Randy Feldface quoted um, Ernest Miller Hemingway when he said the first draft of everything is shit. You know, so it's oh, like, it's, it, it was worse than <laughs> shit, mate. It was below <laughs> shit. It was, it was, a, it wasn't even a HD camera. The, the the video was echoey. I was a stiff idiot going, uh, uh, it's a good song, this. You know what I mean? It was, yeah. oh, my God. I had no experience whatsoever until three years ago. Wow. That's crazy. Apart so from, like, you like filming your family days out and stuff, you know, that'd do that. Oh, that sure, but that's sure. not really doing anything. <laughs> that's not like That's not, like, setting anything up. What's what's you know what interesting I mean? is that again, because self admittedly, and again, we were kind of talking about this before we got started, is that um, I think this is something that uh, as a reactor you really don't think about. Is that you know we have lots of friends that you know are reactors. Is that we would love to support them, but it sucks mm. when you've got a song that you haven't heard yet, and it's like <laughs> I can't watch this. So it's just it's it's really frustrating oh, at times. You know. It's yeah. annoying. I mean, at first it was just like, oh, listen to that song. Yeah, if someone wants to show you a song, you're like, yeah, show me that song. Yeah, cool. But yeah. it's like, no, can't do it yet. Can't do it yet. I've, I've got to react to it first before I can do it. Mm -hmm. It's 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 annoying, but mm -hmm. it's good. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, you've got to do it that way. Otherwise, it's not, a, it's not a good reaction. You know what I mean? If you know what's coming, you can... 
It's, it's, it's not good. It's not so, good to put it that way. So I got to know. So like from one reactor to another is that yeah. um, when it comes to choosing your music and the way that you do things is that kind of take me through your process. Like, you know, whenever you have, uh, you know, your idea of like, okay, like this, these are the songs I know for a fact I'm going to do, or these are the songs that maybe I will do, or maybe you're like, I'm never touching that or whatever. Like what is Lee's process for how you pick out videos or music that you're going to react to? Okay. Uh, It's mainly shooting an arrow into the sky and hoping you hit a star. (laughs) Uh, it, that's 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 how it is. I mean, I mean, I get I get people sending me requests. I get people sending me Patreon requests. Uh, so I only do like ten. I don't I don't do any more than that. I'm like mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not getting flooded. Um, and then I started like doing journeys of artists. They're like if someone has asked me like I mean at the minute I'm doing like some mainstream stuff away from what I'm used to normally listening to. So I'm doing like Britney Spears and then Christina Aguilera. Never listened to these artists before. I've heard songs in the background somewhere, but you know, and it's like I'll do them journeys and then I'll do the music that I want to do. I get people sending me requests and a new song will come out, so you jump straight on that. You know mm. what I mean? It's it's just like I say. It's a shot in the dark most of the time. Right. But then the structure with the with the with the journeys of um, artists that I do. You know what I mean? It's uh, right. that's how I do stuff. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's interesting too because especially like whenever it is just one person. I mean, you are the one brain that runs everything, and I, I think that simplifying that and making sure that you know you can assemb- essentially keep yourself sane through the process is the biggest thing. Oh God! So it's because I mean, it's like, what are your comments like as far as requests? Like, how many requests do you think that you get a day from people? Like, of people right, asking you stuff. Right. Right. Okay. A day. Um, you probably talking twenty thirty. That's on the channel. Mm-hmm. And then you get your, you get your, I do two live streams a week on uh, Twitch. Mm-hmm. I do requests for people on their first come first serve, et cetera. And you know, what, however many are doing that time is what I do. I record every single request that mm-hmm. I do. And this is, you won't believe me when I tell you this, but I've got nearly 2000 reactions on my computer. I have got nearly 2000 reactions on my computer. How? I've been doing it for three years. <laughs> I've been doing it for three years. Oh you my do God. two live streams a week. You record all the stuff that I do. Anyone who sees this on my channel will absolutely back me up because I've showed everyone my list. Wow. Um, probably 10 reactions at a time every live stream twice a week. I've got me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday recording for eight hours a day. Mm. And then every day I do two hours of editing and uploading. I upload five videos a day. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So uh, I'm okay. I'm very, very curious then because that you just, you made my brain short circuit because I I know how we do things and I know that everybody's process is different, but I kind of look at that and I look at it in the way of like Elon Musk where I'm like, how, (laughs) how do you do this? So it's it's a lot of, you know, it's, I, I designate two hours a day for editing and uploading. I have two channels. I have one small one and one my main channel. Mm-hmm. I'll do I'll do three requests because you know you get three promoted requests every day on YouTube. Sure. And then I add I add one to the conveyor belt that I've got going. So every every month I've got thirty videos on the go. You know the ones that get blocked. Yeah. You can't, you can't watch them. Mm-hmm. Well, I wait for them to, you know, release. And I've got conveyor belt of a month in front. So on on my channel now, I've got a month in advance one video at a time, one at, wow. one a day, as well as the other two videos a day. And I'll, rec- I'll upload one to the other channel. So that's like five, you know what I mean? And then I've got a gaming channel, which is just bombed. It's rubbish. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's a common thing with, um, yeah. with, with, with YouTubers is that it's like, and clearly there have been people that have made it in gaming, but that's what Riker wrote mm. was before we ever decided to do that. And it was, the joke was that we had, uh, 17 subscribers the majority of those were family <laughs> and the only people that watched the videos were us you know so it's yes. like it's that type of that, like it's it, it sucks because that because eric would say before where he was like man like you know we're putting all this time into editing and recording that and everything so it's just i think reactions in a way are kind of like a cheat code where it's like you get to yeah. be yourself and you get to do it in a condensed area of like 20 minutes but still do like the amount of content you're pumping out that's insane because with you saying that you started three years ago and you have that many videos uploaded, it's I have just 3,500 uploaded dude, it's, um, and man. nearly 2,000 on my computer. Dude, please tell me that you at least take a nap sometimes. Like it's or like something <laughs> like dude. In, insomnia is my friend, Kyle. Insomnia <laughs> is my friend. I also have a 30 hour a week job. Okay. So I, actually I wanted to ask you if you're okay with uh, mm. uh, disclosing that. So what, it, what, uh, what is your day job? Of, so when you're not doing the YouTube thing, I have a night job. I, I work at, well, it's not a night night. It's, it's like five till 10. I, I deliver Chinese food. Oh, wow. That's so cool. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's an easy job. 
it, it, it pays and you know it's it's only like five hours a day so wow do that for six days a week and then come here do live streams get up in the morning do youtube videos <laughs> that's so wild mate it's sad I, I don't know why my channel's only got 80,000 subscribers. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is bigger. That's actually one of the questions I wanted to ask you is that um, I've seen that you do multiple uploads a day and mm. I've been, I've been warned against doing that only because of the algorithm, but yet the algorithm is so unpredictable with what you throw at it is that yeah. how has the algorithm treated you? Like, you know, what, how, <laughs> when, when have you seen it? Maybe if it's, even if it's rare, like how have you seen it maybe work in your favor? And then the times that it tanks, like, like take me through that. What, like from your perspective of your channel. I've nearly quit twice. Really? I have nearly quit twice. And one of them was after watching one of your videos. <laughs> which, which one? Uh, oh, don't worry. Don't, it was nothing to do with you oh. or your video or anything like this. <laughs> this is, it's not, it's not as sinister as it sounds. Mm -hmm. right, I'll, 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 let me start from the beginning. Sure. Right. You know, I'm friends with a few labels. You know, I get the, I get the uploads before they are released. So watch the world burn from falling in reverse. Yeah. I got that sent to me the, the, the dinner time, the 12, 12 noon before it was released at three, three o'clock. Mm. So I'd recorded that reaction. I'd had it cleared by copyright, you know, uploaded, et cetera. I had it ready to go 10 minutes after the initial release. Yes. Wow. So I thought that's the best start I'm going to get. No one else have a reaction out for at least 30, 40 minutes. I'm going to get a good half an hour and then it'll, you know, it'll probably skyrocket. So I sat there and I, and I watched it go up to around about 10,000 views. I was like, okay, it's doing all right. And then everyone else is people with channels of, that, that have got 3,000 subscribers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 K views. And I'm like, what's going on here? What is going on? I've got it out before anyone. I've got no copyrights, nothing holding it back. Right. It is there. It is promoted and it's going out. You know what I mean? Because once a record label sends it me, I can allocate that slot for it. And then I think you brought yours out either a day or two days later because of, um, you know, like you, had, you, had your, you already uploaded your video for that day. And then yeah. by the time I got to watch yours, I looked at that, I went, 196,000 views. Wow. Yeah. I went, yeah. I went, I went, I went, took my headphones <laughs> off. I'm fucking working too hard. You know, I did that and I got really, really, really disheartened. And sure. With that, with that song, it, you'd think it's got a lot of um, angst in it. It's got the laser eyes. It's got, you know, people are going to want to watch everyone's reaction to that. Yeah. So I thought it'll be a one that blows up. And mine's just sat there at 10.1. <laughs> everyone's is flying up. And, I, and I, I, to be honest, I went on. I went on all the week after, and I was I was pissed. I was absolutely pissed. I was sat there. I was, I'm going to give it up. I'm having. I've had enough. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I work stupid hours. I do so much this. I do two live streams, and it's just like it's not happening. It's not. not nothing's going to going to happen. Right. And then uh, my partner who went on holiday with, she said, uh, "I don't know why you're worried so much about it." And I'm like, "Because it's doing me. I didn't ever. I want to try and make a career out of this. I want to give up the Chinese job and do this full time. That's what that's what I want to do." And then I was watching a video uh, on, I think it was Mr. Beast. He came up on a short and he was talking about tips and tricks for YouTube, etc. And he, he starts talking about um, if you make a video, when you make the next one, make it better. Mm. Then you make the next one again, make that one better. And I sat there and I thought, where did I lose me way? Where, where did I? Why, I, I'd lost what I was doing this for in the first place. I'm sitting there watching numbers, looking at, uh, analytics checking I'm, I'm competing with people who are not competing with me i am right. looking at stupid algorithms i'm looking at numbers and view counts and comparing it to other channels and i'm thinking i got into this to try and make a career and discover new music right so i come back off holiday i felt a little bit better i was like okay i changed all my graphics on my channel i made a new skin for me everything and this last only this last month now I've gone from like 1,200 to 2,000 subscribers up to 6,000. So it's going Dude, up. Dude, good. Dude, that makes me so That's happy. What I'm that. <laughs> Dude, it's in what's, and I think that this is the thing is that I think people are, it's, it's hard because you mm. want to pay attention to your analytics because I, I think that there's this hard thing that people like they, they throw into your, you know, almost like the wrench in the machine where they're just like, Oh, you're just in this for money. And it's like, okay, well, if you're spending 20 hours a week doing something, wouldn't you yeah. want there to be some kind of monetary thing to help you move forward? And it's difficult because I think that 
while you don't want to be a slave to numbers, you do have to be yeah. obedient in certain ways yeah. and look at how things are happening. So we've we've had our boost too, and we've had our valleys, and we've had all that stuff. I I know that with what's been going on with the algorithm recently is that we have a new norm with our analytics that with yeah. the top ten of like videos that do well. We went from having a while that it was kind of like, you know, it was almost like that uh, mentality of like, are you as confident as you seem? And it was like kind of that RDJ thing of like, <laughs> yeah. I guess kind of right now I am. But yeah. in the same hand was that when reality hit and we looked at, wow, like for whatever reason, YouTube is just not liking what we're putting out right now. Mm. And it's, it's I think it's it's a mixture of just from notifications not being reached or, you know, from, you know, people not clicking because or whatever. It's yeah. just it's a constant battle and it's, it's not that it's, you know, it's comforting to know that everybody goes through those things, but to know specifics yeah. about that, like, dude, like it's, it makes us feel like we're not alone. And I, I think mm, that's going to be, absolutely, that's, it's, it's going to be comforting I, to anybody that does listen to this. That's trying it, man, for sure. Yeah. In the words that Ren uses every time you see him on his um, a podcast and stuff, mm. he, we, we all need to lift each other up as he says. Yes. And, and there's never a truer word said, mate. And that's obviously why if I see a good channel, obviously like yours, I will support that channel. I will comment. I'll watch the reactions that I've already reacted to. Obviously, I won't watch anything that you've done that I've not reacted to. Sure. Because in case I get that, as you as you know, it's annoying that. But you hit the nail on the head the other night when I was watching when it when it came online when you was doing that test. Um I think it was on it was either that one or a cavecast video. I can't remember which one it was. But you said something like, uh, we can't put any old video on because it doesn't do well on our channel mm. and I'm not in it to, I need to grow a channel. I can't remember which video it was. You said that on, it was seen probably, that and I went, yeah, yeah. A. That's yeah, that's right. I was putting anything on. I was, I really was. I was putting anything on it. That's why I've got 3000 videos and 2000 of them are shit. Well, it's, no, honestly, well, I think that it's also like like how you were talking about shooting the arrow into the sky is that it's, it's mm. true, man, is that there's, there is so much about, the creative process that is almost beyond understanding that it's like, I mean, let, let's face it like us doing reaction videos. It is not the same thing as writing a movie or writing a song or like, I mean, it's, it's a no. different form of creativity, but I think that it's, not scripted. it's right. And it's, it's one of those where it's like, man, like you do have to just take these 20 ideas, throw these magnets at this wall and hope to God that they land on the right side and land where they're supposed to. And it's like some months you get 19 and some months you get one and you hate your life. And it's like, it's just, it yeah. depends. And I, I guess my, my next question for you is with how you've overcome those struggles and those things, I guess, what would be some long-term goals that you would want to do with this? Cause you've, you've talked about making a career out of this. Like, yes, is it, um, is exclusively, is it YouTube or is it more Twitch or is it none of them? Like it's like, what, YouTube mainly only okay. because I really enjoy the process. I really enjoy, do you know what Kyle, aside from music videos, I like making goofy stuff. I like making like that night that rocks being made of you. Dude, you have no idea how much that saved my mental health that day. I was, that dude, was oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> but I like making stuff like that. If you have, if you've ever watched any of my Tom McDonald reactions, I did. Do you know, like you did the best rapper ever with the two Tom McDonalds. We've actually, I've whole, actually, I've actually not seen that one yet. It's on our list to do of, of Tom oh, McDonald. Right, well, yeah, I won't say anymore. But I did a load of parodies from that video in my Tom McDonald reactions as little intros, and everyone was loving it, mate. Absolutely loving it. Now, going back to the algorithm, mm. like NF, for instance, right? Uh, you you went to NF, your channel went <laughs> straight into the stratosphere with NF reactions. Everyone gets in thousands of thousands of views, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I have got, I've done the whole journey. I started from intro all the way up to like 50 videos, right? Mm -hmm. I have got two videos that's over a thousand. Are you shitting me? I'm not shitting you. Dude, two nuts. videos that's over a thousand. And I'm like, See why? Is that NF? See, that's that's the stuff that really infuriates me because it's one of those where like it's we we only know how to do what we do. Mm. And so it's like when we put stuff out there is that like we we didn't even think that the first reaction that we ever did was going to do anything. It was just we were yeah. bored and we had already, you know, put the room together. It was nothing no, weird uh, near to what it was or what it is right now. But yeah, it's just man, like it's it's weird because. I look at, you know, like I, I consider people that are fellow reactors, even if I don't know them or whatever, I consider them that, you know, like, as you said, like we're lifting each other up, like you, you guys are my friends. It's like, you know, we're all yes. in this together. And Definitely. when I see that is that it frustrates me because I look at the content that you create and it's like, it's like, look, everybody has room to improve, but you're so damn dedicated. 
and you're mm. it's like, and you're so on point with everything that you're doing. And it's just, it's, I don't know, like it, it almost, it makes, wanna, like, well, it's, it's like, it, it makes me want to, it makes me want to ball my fists in the air. And it's like, it's just like YouTube, like, like I, I could slap them purple. Like, dude, like it's just, it yeah. makes me so angry. It's like, dude, like you're making good content. Oh, you should be you noticed. Sit there, you sit there and you think, does my face not fit? <laughs> is this something to do with what I'm doing? Yeah. Am I am I pausing too much? I get, mm-hmm. You get that comment all the time. Oh, you pause too much, and it's like you yeah, know, stick your fingers up to him. Um, and you <laughs> personally, you I, I there, personally, you I, I yourself, say fuck those people, but that's just me. So, <laughs> but what the irony is there, Kyle, is all these people who come on being negative. It's helping your algorithm. So it's like, carry on. Carry on, you idiot. You know I mean? So I, I I address them because I know they're too pig headed to not respond again. So mm. I start I start. And, what, and you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, what it is on the internet these days, mate, is negativity blows up better than positivity, and I yeah. don't know why. Right, it just does. It does. If you if you make something that people are going to talk about, you know what I mean. It, it, that's it. It goes out. I mean, Tom McDonald, millions of views all the time. Political mm. stuff, straight up. You know what I mean. It's his his channel blows up every single time, and right. you can see that. Because a lot of it, I mean, it's not necessarily negative with Tom, but it's pointing out negative topics. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and giving people a view, if you like, of, of what's going on behind the uh, the wokeness, if you like. Well, it's, uh, that's actually, <laughs> no, that, that's a really good point is that because while, yeah, like I would say that Tom McDonald is one of the more uh, positive people yes. that I've been able to see. But I think it's interesting because he is so bold and, yeah. you know, and being able to make a stand and it. And I don't know if, again, if this is too far or whatever, but I, I'm very curious is that um, with your perspective on things, because I know that living in America is that there we have all the stuff that's happening here. We have, you know, it's like there's many things that are happening across the world is that, yeah, like when you view Tom, what kind of a lens do you see, see him through? I see a guy who's speaking the truth. I see a guy who's not afraid to say, I thought he should be British because we don't care what we say. <laughs> you know it's so I mean? wild yeah yeah it, well it should be northern british because we we really don't care <laughs> um if, if you ever watch any of my live streams carl you'll see it i mean some of my shorts as well i mean i'm outspoken <laughs> but yeah. it's not in a negative way it's just more in a jokey way or a piss-taking way you know what as mm. you know that's, that's what we are in this well i'm near i live near liverpool mate and if you ever know anything about liverpool it's just nothing but jokes and sarcasm you know mm. what i mean it's that's all it is and then we we live for it, absolutely live for it, and I do. Wow! And the uh, people seem to like it. So, <laughs> so uh, I like comedy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's well, uh, my next question then is when it comes yeah. to NF. Mm. I'm what I'm very curious about is how that man has affected your life because I know that. Um, and again, I'm not going to go too much into it, but um the one reaction that I remember of yours was watching the reaction to mama because I, I mm. did, I did a whole binge the night after I listened to that song. I'm like, I've got to know if like with what we experienced, you know, with that. So it's like, that's like the main, that's the main one that really sticks out to me when I uh, think mm. about your NF videos, but as a whole, how has NF affected your day to day mental health and just with how you operate? Like, do, do, does he cr- cross your mind throughout the day? Do you think about him or like with the things that he says, like what, well, take me through that. Mm. Well, I am actually blessed with not having any sort of anxieties or mental health. That's, mm. that's the affect me in a way that I sit there and I think about, Oh my God, can you imagine being in that position? Can you imagine all about his mum and stuff? Like, obviously passing on and stuff and right. how could you leave us and stuff like that the songs like that just all heartbreaking gut-wrenching songs and stuff but i mean i can put myself in his position but i can't relate to it because it's not happened to me i mean i've lost my dad like 20 years ago but i mean i can relate to it that in that sense sure but i mean them sort of feelings do come in but i mean as far as mental health goes i really don't suffer from anything at all it's probably why i'm good at doing youtube videos and doing the grind Maybe it's because I don't get mentally fatigued. Maybe there's nothing right. in there, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? That whole statement. It might ruffle. <laughs> is that that whole scary movie thing where he takes off the head and there's a little yeah. dude inside of his head? You know, so yeah. <laughs> well, if it turns if it turns at silent at headphones, like maybe you will see Batman through me. I just don't know. <laughs> no, it's that's well to me. That's an interesting perspective because you know mm. it's I, I don't know if it's it is because of just where we live or whatever, but I know that you know Eric and I you know from 
living the life that we have and, you know, just the stuff that we've been surrounded with is that everybody's upbringing is different and everybody's culture is different. And that's so interesting to hear that it's like you kind of almost have a disassociation, but I think in a blessed way of when Mm. you look at that music. And that's that's really, really interesting. I, I never would have thought of it from that angle. I have I have feelings and thoughts. I can relate to people. I can sympathize with people. I'm like, I mean, I'm not emotionless. I mean, I do feel things like that. I just don't have anxieties or depression. I've never had anything like that. I don't know. I don't understand it um, from someone who's had that sort of thing day to day. I don't right. know. Do you know what I mean? I, I can't, I can't, I can't relate to it in the same way as someone who can, who's got mental health as well, mm-hmm. where you can talk it out. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've right. never, I've never, I can sit there and be a friend to somebody and I can give them advice and like, try this, try that, blah, blah, blah. But I can't, I can't say, oh, well, I've done that. Yeah. I've, right. I've felt like that because I've, I've never, I've never been anxious. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, I don't know what it is. I, I mean, I've got all the emotions. I've got everything to say. I should be like that sometimes, but I'm just not, I don't know why. I'm just well, positive. I think that it's also <laughs> the fact that, dude, you have a you do have a radiation of just or so this thing that radiates out of you of just of positivity. And it's something yeah. that like whenever I have been able to watch your videos, if it, if it is something that, you know, specifically like, like, you know, an NF video or if it's a Ronnie mm. video or anything like that, is that it's you have this just this aura about you that it, it's a very attractive thing when somebody's eye and ear eyes and ears are listening and, and watching yeah. where it's it's like, man, like. I want to know what this man thinks about everything. Like, I like, I want to know what he thinks about, you know, it's like a good dish of food. I want to know what he thinks about, you know, uh, how he deals with road rage and traffic. Like, I like, I want to know all that. Like it's to me, like it's, it, cause it's, it's, it's so, road rage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see, see, so you do have emotions. <laughs> oh God, I do. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not good on the road. It's not anxiety. That's just calling that's, people for being see. stupid. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> people it, pull out on you. <laughs> It's, it's to me it's just that that's honestly what made me so excited was that because uh to, to open up a little bit was that uh when we would look through youtube studio we would see that because you're you're verified like through like uh th- like the comments like you would always pop through on a separate thing of notifications yeah. and i think it turned into one of us looking at the other and going who the hell is lee <laughs> and we're, we're like who like who is this guy and and uh and mom was actually the one that she's like oh i watch him all the time i love his content like and it's just and i gotta tell you that that's one of the coolest things is like being able to be on the internet and people welcome your mom and actually enjoy her yeah like, your it's, mom's it's, a legend so- <laughs> Fantastic! I only watch your channel because of your mom. Well, <laughs> right? No, I I would only watch the channel if it was because of mom. Like it's like, <laughs> oh no, she's she's brilliant. She's brilliant. Hmm. Fantastic, mate. You're lucky yeah. there. Yes, no, it's dude. We're lucky. We're we're very we're very fortunate, and you know, it's, mm. uh, we've always had the the funny thing is is that the rule in our house was mom. There was always two rules, which was you know where the bathroom's at, you know where the kitchen's at. I'm not helping you. Go do your thing. So and like so like because it was kind of that moment the first time I had friends over when I was a teenager, and she busted into the into the room and was like, "All right, I have two rules," and I went. Oh shit! <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, what's gonna happen? So, but uh, no, it's, she's always just looked as, at everybody as her kids. Like you know, like whether it's yeah. new, like she considers Ronnie a kid of hers. You know, she considers yeah. you like it's like it's everybody. Like it's that's that's one of the things that again, like why why we we love embracing people that are around yeah. us because it's just she's, it's, tra- she's trying to get me on a plane to America. She's yeah, right. On me, on me. <laughs> yeah. You but you better come to America. <laughs> <laughs> That's not no, she would have a lot of fun with that for sure, man. It's yeah, absolutely. So okay. I'll be so, in headlock. Come on, I'll show you this place. I'll show you that place. I'll show you this. I'm like, oh. It's like, can I go take a nap? No! We have things to see. <laughs> That's okay. It's insomnia, mate. I don't need it. <laughs> we don't need a nap, nothing. So okay, I, I'm I'm really curious. Is that um as far as just letting your mind just run rampant? And yeah. just thinking of just no limitations. Uh, this is one of my favorite questions to ask people because I okay. think that it allows them to just, you know, just rip off the band aid or just, you know, like put it into four wheel drive and just do what you're doing is that if money were no option, what would you do and why? Do you remember that scene in Ace Ventura where he goes, <laughs> <laughs> spouts off a load of shit? Yeah. <laughs> right. I would have something of a Neverland like Michael Jackson had, but it wouldn't be fair rides and stuff. There might be some in the corner. I would have a big, massive oval with a conveyor belt full of shitty cars for destruction derbies with all my friends. Definitely. That's a, I think that's a great idea. I'd also oh. have a paintballing section, right? 
aliens themed favorite sci-fi film etc and get this all the um paintball guns will be <gasps> mp41 <laughs> oh my god that's uh, awesome from aliens <laughs> <laughs> dude okay it would all be okay real quick I, Hudson. I gotta know where how did you get your hands on that where'd you find that it's not it's not an official one it's uh my brother-in-law 3d printed it and i paid him for the stuff we need to get connected. <laughs> there needs to, something needs to happen. <laughs> oh, mate, mate. Honestly, oh. I would have all sorts of stuff. Everything. I'd have um, a stage with guitar stuff on it. I'd have, you know, I'd have nice cars, nice house, etc. What you would have with money was no object. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I'd have any everything that's fun like mm-hmm. that. Smashing cars up, playing Laser Quest. Or, you know, you can have Laser Quest and paintballs. You know what I mean? And time Man. to play Resident Evil. <laughs> So it's that whole, you would have just like an infinite music, just um, amusement park or just like almost just lifestyle place. That's yeah. where it's like, nah, dude, just go be just like, it's like, just have some fun. Yeah. So being a, be a kid, but you're an adult, you know? So not only that, I'd have an AI Lee sat here doing me reactions for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I, I actually I'm better than me. <laughs> so I, I am curious. So what, what do you think about all the AI stuff that's going on right now? So, so think, what's your take think- on it? I think, I mean, it's very good the way it works. Don't get me wrong. It sounds like, I think sometimes it's disrespectful mm. when it comes down to like artists who have died, like Chester Bainton and stuff. You know, there's been a few of them popping up and I'm sure. like, it is, but it isn't. And then it makes you feel a bit weird because it's not really him singing it. Do you know what I mean? It's okay when Linkin Park brought all those songs out yeah. that were, um, you know, in the archives. That's fine because that really is Chester's voice and you can like, oh, this is brilliant, blah, blah, blah. But AI, it's like, I did a reaction to it and I, I felt a bit weird. You know mm. what I mean? It was it was strange. So I don't know. Um, yeah. I I personally think it's taking the art art out of music. I think it's it, you know people are not writing anymore. They're getting AI to do it. Mm. You know what I mean? It's and then there was there was a Drake one. There was a, there was one an an, M, an Eminem one about cats. Oh my God. Um, and honestly, mate, it was, I was like, yeah, it's going too far. This it's, uh, I think it's, it can be a curse and a blessing. It's, I agree. I, uh, I think that it's AI is something that, you know, cause admittedly for the scary stories that I've, you know, kind of like done on and off is that, um, making thumbnails for those is, is that, excuse me, uh, making thumbnails for those is that I have, you know, very interesting ideas for creatures or for situations and things like that is that I, I've mm. used AI as a tool. Where it's like, okay, yes. like, I can't get That's these different. results, you know? So it's like, mm. I'm, I'm careful on that because I know it's a slippery slope to all I got to do is prompt everything yeah. and then it can be done for me. And it's, I don't know, like, I think that there, there definitely is a place for it. If it's almost like CGI mm. in movies where it's like, look, you know, That's you, fine. You, yeah. right. It's like, I mean, you, yeah, you're not replacing an artist. You're not replacing, you're not replacing Drake. You're not replacing Chester. You're not replacing, you know what I mean? It, you're not replacing nobody. That's fine. You're doing, you're doing some Hollywood effects and stuff. Um, yeah. That's fine. That's great <laughs> because it takes some of the work out and gets your films out faster. See, it's and what's interesting is that I also kind of love the what ifs of uh, AI because now I, I don't know how much you uh, <laughs> scroll on TikTok, but uh, there was something that caught me the other day, and I, at first I couldn't believe it was real. And it was a small snippet that uh, this gentleman had uh, inputted a bunch of prompts where it was basically SpongeBob singing a sad country song. And I was like, I'm like, dude, fuck this. This is going to be so stupid. And then I sat there and I'm listening to it and I'm tearing up listening to it. I'm like, this slaps <laughs> so hard. I'm like, why is this so damn good? And it's, oh. it's just so it's like, I think that like maybe having fun with things like that. Like I, I personally enjoy that. Like it's, I've, I've threatened that I want to learn how to cover it and sing it on YouTube, even though it's an AI yeah. generated song. Cause it's like, <laughs> cause to me I, at the end of the day, if it sounds good, that's what I gravitate yeah. towards. You know, it's like no matter yeah. what it is, you know? So, but it's, yeah. If it's, the it's, artist is still alive mm-hmm. that's fine <laughs> right yeah right. yes <laughs> to me i think spongebob is timeless in a lot of ways but yeah, yes right. SpongeBob's an, he's, a, he's, he's a fictional character anyway unless you count cory taylor but i mean you know it's one of them and it? it's it's if it's a fictional character if it's for cgi in a movie i have absolutely no problem with it mm-hmm. at all because it's it makes for funny videos sure um but like I say, the, the like the memory of Chester and stuff. And there's, there's been a lot of AI Chester coming out, probably because we can't get his voice anymore. But sometimes it sounds on, sometimes it sounds off. So it's you know, it, I, I, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna listen to any more of these, right? Because it's it, it's not right. You know what I mean? It, but like I say, I'd, I'd listen to anything else, like mm. 
if uh, like it's like your SpongeBob country song, if you like, yeah, I'd, yeah. Have, I'd have a laugh at that. You know what yeah. I mean? Why not? Why not? <laughs> it can be good. It can be good. That's if awesome. it's used right, that's the way I look at it. So, okay, um, I'm actually really curious about this is that clearly you love music. You know, it's, I've seen mm. even in some of your videos that you are a guitarist. And uh, mm. from, from a guitarist standpoint is um, what, what was it that got you into music? And maybe that was like kind of what helped your guitar playing or whatever. But like what actually more specifically, what music were you listening to when you were growing up? Like take me through Young Lee and the music that he was listening to. What's yeah, my Oasis signed CD there? Oh, it's Oasis? Oasis? Yeah, that's oh. Oasis. It's signed Liam and Noel. Oh, Liam on the wow. disc, um, Noel on the cover. Oh, my God, that is so cool. Mate, I'm I'm a sucker for signed stuff. I've got mm. a Linkin Park sign one here, obviously. These are all my Tom McDonald signed stuff. I buy them as they, as they come out. Dude. Mate, I have I have all horror stuff like, like, like you know, <laughs> Kenny Kersinger, Friday the 13th. I've got Leatherface. I've got Aliens. I've got, you know, <laughs> I've got everything around here, mate, honestly. I've got mm. loads and loads. I like signed stuff. I've met all of them, like my like Hudson, uh, not Hudson Hicks. I've met um, Bishop. I've met Lambert. I've met Tom Skerry. You know, I've got photos with these people as well. Wow. I've just got not got enough room to put them all up. Yeah, right. <laughs> the problem is not having the space at this point. Yeah, yeah. But what's your favorite item in the whole world, Kyle? My favorite item? I don't know. Um, it, there's a lot of them, but um, specifically, a couple years ago, our younger brother Devin, who has he's been on the channel. Uh, he was kind of like early on, back when we kind of oh, first okay. started. And uh, I love the Uncharted games. I'm a huge Sony fan. Mm. I, I um, I actually uh, Eric got me a PS5 for Christmas the one year, nice. so it's like it's just I'm forever in debt to him, and I love it. So it's like I can, I can keep up with all that stuff, but. Uh, Man, like I'm a Sony head, and when it comes to Naughty Dog, I love anything that they make. And um, <laughs> yes. Crash Dev- Bandicoot, yeah, right. It's, dude, it's, it, it, they're amazing. It's it's just what, what's crazy yeah. was that I remember the one time uh, Devin came over, and he, I, don't, I don't know how familiar you are with Uncharted, but he handed me a necklace with a ring, and he hmm. said, "He's like, here, this is for you." And I, I was like, "Oh, what's this?" And he said, "Read it." And on the outside, uh, the main character uh, has a ring that he wears and inscribed on it is sick parvis magna. And it means right. And it means greatness from small beginnings. Yeah. And there's something that's just really poetic about that. Like, it's it's one of those that when I do wear it in a video, I, I think about it and I'm like, nah, dude, like even if we're not doing like something huge, it's like, you know, we're working with what we have, which is not much. It's there's never yeah. going to be exactly what we want, but we are working with something. And mm. I don't know, like that's, I would say as far as simple things, um, yeah. that that would definitely be one of them. And it's cause it's just, it's a video game connection to me. It's a connection to my younger brother. It's it's this uh, thing that I know that no matter where I go, I'm taking him with me, you know? So it's like, no yeah. matter if, if I'm yeah. across the world or if I'm just, you know, a town over, you know? So yeah. it's just, it's, yeah, I would definitely say that. It's, it's always here. Yes, yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's on the middle. It's not like near the heart or whatever, but yes. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> it mines in, me, in here somewhere. <laughs> So it's- my my favorite things that I've got that that, that I treasure more than anything. I've got three signed vinyls there, pop vinyls. Adam West, Bert Ward, and Julie Newmar. Noel from the original Batman. Oh, and obviously, wow. uh, Adam West has died now, hasn't he? So sure. that there is probably worth a lot of money, but I won't sell it. I would. They they're, they're the ones that I got signed first. You know mm. what I mean? And I was like, yeah, this is good. This is this is this is elite level stuff. Um, but all the others, like like the aliens cast and all, like they're all still alive, etc. So you just get them signed every time you go to a comic. And I love, I, love, I always go dressed as Bane, me shave all my hair off and put the mask on, mate. Honestly, I, I look pretty good. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. What's well, if you think about it? Tom Hardy has tattoos, so when he has to cover yeah. those up. So hey, you know, it's like you're almost taking that extra level, you know? Tom Hardy, you say? Dude, okay, you are blowing my. <laughs> How many sign things do you have? <laughs> It's so back on the wall. <laughs> that oh, is... mate, I've got a shitload. I bet you I've got over a hundred signatures of different people. Wow. I've got ridiculous amounts of I've got Paul Rudd, I've got Amman up there, I've got Jeremy Renner, I can see them all now. You know, wow. the guy who played Predator, the uh, Aliens versus Predator, um Thingy White, Ian White. You know what I mean? I've got everywhere, I've got everything everywhere, mate. Half of it's still stored as well. So and that's and that's all from going to cons and everything. Is is it going con, to con comic cons and 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 going a couple? There was a couple of was like premieres and stuff like that was a long time ago. That though, see, you can't get down to London anymore. See, I knew <laughs> I knew for a fact that you were a cool person anyway. But to know that you're exclusively a nerd on top of that and you have the balls oh, to prove it, dude, it makes it so much better. Hundred <laughs> percent nerd. If you if you could see around my man cave now, I'm not going to move the camera. I've got I've got a retro console. There was thirty six thousand games on it. 
I've got the PS5, the Xbox, the PC, the handhelds. I've got. I'm a. I'm a big, big nerd and a collector. Dude, that's so. It's and I think it also comes down to that whole mentality that you know it's like men never grow up. We just our toys yeah. just get bigger and more expensive. Yeah. You know, so it's. Like, yeah. it's uh, I paid my brother like hundred quid for that gun. I was like, how much are the materials? Fifty quid. Right. Okay. There's hundred. Make it for me. <laughs> it was one of them because I couldn't buy one because like seven eight hundred quid. You know what I mean? It's right. Like, it's a bit price for that. Hmm. And he made it for hundred. I thought that'll, that'll do. So I'm going to go on well once that it's signed. <laughs> So, all right, man. So to kind of uh, to, to wrap this up a little bit of just like kind of just wrap our thoughts together is that um, mm-hmm. clearly as you know, you are a content creator. You've gone through yeah. hills. You've gone through valleys. You've done all those things for somebody that is starting out to become a content creator or if somebody that, you know, whether or not this makes it as a clip that we do on the cave cast that people can come to or whatever, like. I would be very curious about what you would tell to somebody that is a new content creator. What is something that you would like to tell them? Okay. Okay. There'll be, there'll be a few things. Please. Don't yeah. buy ex, Don't buy expensive equipment first off. Mm. Try and make the video first. See if it works. Don't go out spending thousands and thousands of pounds on cameras and computers, etc. Just buy a small laptop, laptop with a normal camera. Try that first. Try your mobile phone. Stuff mm. like that. Don't get disheartened if your first video doesn't go because it doesn't go viral, doesn't go, don't get a lot of views because your first video, if you've never done videos before, will be shit. And it will. Yes. It will, just will. My first hundred are, I'm sat in my car, let's face it, on my laptop. There's a, there's one, there was one, I was, the uh, because I was on that phone in reverse journey and I was watching the drug in me is reimagined. And I'm sat there, I mean, I'm, I'm taking this like beautiful piece of music in and I'm sat there, I mean, like, I'm at that. On the computer, and then he went, "Can't you say like that?" <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the video, I'm like that on the screen, still looking. This is I didn't expect that. You know, they broke my computer. You know what I mean, and that's why you can see that part of my face. It, it made for good comedy. Yeah, but yeah. Don't buy expensive stuff. Don't um, get your hopes up on the first video. It could take ten. It could take twenty. Could take a hundred yeah. um, videos to even get some subscribers. Always post on social medias. Mm. Set your social medias up. Always promote it. Do posts. Do polls. People like to interact with polls more than anything. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I, I get that. Always shout out somebody's birthday if it's a famous artist um, who you like, sort of thing. Yeah. And I like like today. Ren today has got a hundred a million subscribers. So I stuck a post on. Congratulations. Tagged him in the post. One million subscribers, you deserve it, mate. You deserve all, you, all the luck so in the he, world. So he cetera. finally he finally crossed that threshold today. Today on my Wednesday, Wednesday. Dude, hell yes, that's awesome. <laughs> it is, mate. And Knox Hill's just behind him. Oh Knox my Hill's god, Hill's just behind him. So I've, I've oh. wished him good luck as well. Because what you do in the reactor community, you you you, you like say lift each other up, like Ren says. Yeah. I've, I, ever since he said that, I think that really resonates with with people who do try to help each other, and I think we all should. Yeah. Apart from these ones who's making videos. And not doing anything. Yeah, that's. I think that that's what infuriates me the most is that I when, get yeah. thousands of views. See, and it's <laughs> I, to me, it's like to to because I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like bash anybody, but like it's no. one of those where it's like, nah, dude, like it, it makes me angry that it's like this short film that I would create or do or whatever, and like put my blood, sweat, and tears into gets maybe a hundred views, but somebody's yeah. cat playing with yarn gets 10 million and they can bank, they can uh, bank everything off of it where it's like, it's we're we're truly in the wild west of it. And it's like, yeah. it's, it's really difficult sometimes where it's yeah. like, what the hell do I do this week? You know? So I mean, like, I, you see a, a certain amount of reactors as well. with like small channels. And you think, how's oh, that video got so many views? Then you watch the video and they just go. Yeah. Nothing else. Well, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> yes. I'm like, oh, well, where was your reaction? Yeah. And you got you got two hundred thousand views. And everyone's going great reaction, man. <laughs> it's like no, oh. it's not. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, are, yeah. are, you, are you all still got long COVID or something? What's going on? Are you all like <laughs> everyone's zombified, yeah. as they say in uh, Fawn in Reverse? Like, yeah. I mean, how how can we get in German? Unless they're not watching the reactor going, we'll watch the song. I tell you what, instead of watching mm. the official video, we watch a little screen. Of so, and somebody just doing that and doing nothing, no content. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, that that infuriates me more than anything. That's when I said another thing when I said I feel like giving up when when you see that sort of stuff. And I'm like, yeah. But like I say, if I see someone's working hard and putting um, content into it, then I'll always say good video. You know, you, you know what I mean. Try and help you boost your algorithm, etc. Like on it and whatever. It's, it's uh, I think it's important to do. 
Yeah. No, it's. Uh, I think it's. It's a. It's a. The reactor community is a very, very wholesome community when you have the right people. Yeah, that, definitely. That's the way I look at it. That's and it's, it's good. It's what's I, I think that it's interesting that it's like we do kind of like having that close knit, you know, kind of thing is that, you know, while we don't talk to everybody, it's it was interesting even to see, uh, you know, the times that, you know, if, if we've been, quote unquote, featured on something, if we were like one of the squares that was in something. And yeah, I, I think it was uh, it may, uh, unreal. Isn't it? I, I, it's, it's odd just because I'm pretty sure that it was mom that said it to me. She was like, Alex Hefner knows who you guys are. Mm. And I'm, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, he hasn't contacted us. She's like, no. She's like, I'm talking about the interview that he did where it was the gentleman that was being interviewed on the news. And he was like, look, he's like, I've never heard of this guy. He's like, the rest of these channels, I'm aware yeah. of them. And it's, it's, I think that there is kind of this awareness that happens with it. Cause I, I know that besides music is that I love watching movie reactions. I love yes. watching people play video games and all that. And it's like, there's people that I've Watch held this so space. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start that. Go on. Oh. Oh, you are? You're, are you doing yeah. movies or games? Uh, I already do games. <laughs> What's? Well, I didn't know if you're going to try to switch it to YouTube or what you were thinking. So. Oh no, no, I've got, I've got some Resident Evil. I'm, I'm up to like Act Ten of Resident Evil Four, the new one. Oh my one god! The, okay. So uh, that's that's on my gaming channel, but I'm going to move it to my second channel because that's monetized. And mm. I feel like because that channel's not going anywhere, I'm going, I'm going to at least get paid a little bit for that because mm-hmm. uh, you put a lot of time into video game videos. Yeah. And I edit them. I mean, I put like. Oh my God, that zombie looks like Susan Boyle, right? <laughs> and, and honestly, it did, right? And I, I zoomed in, and then on the next video, I got attacked by one that looked exactly the same, and I went, she's back, Susan Boyle's back. And then as I paused it, put a slight zoom on it, going, guess who's back, back again. Yeah, and when it stopped, yeah. Yeah, when it stopped a big guy, <laughs> Susan Boyle's face was on it. It was like, and people are not watching it. I'm like, watch me videos. Yeah, right. It's funny. <laughs> I say I like making goofy stuff. I, yeah. I do like making goofy stuff. You need to do best rapper ever. You yeah, need to do it, Kyle. I'm telling you what is that? Uh, Tom is actually somebody. He's right up there with like Whit Lowry and um, you know, just uh, even like Chris Webby. I know. Uh, um, yeah. And, and Mac Macle Meagle bars, like all these uh, like you know videos and stuff that we wanted to jump Harry into. Max, amazing. And that's and the thing is, is that we know that people have been asking for it. It was just it's weird because even like making the transition of how we've done things now is that um, Eric is officially full time YouTube. So he's yeah. been, yeah. So like, you know, we're, we've had more time to delegate and to do different things and to try stuff. So jumping on some of those, uh, kind of like long awaited things, it's, it's, it's one of those that like, we like it's coming, you know, it's like, don't, don't you worry. But, <laughs> um, cause yeah. he, like, it's, it's weird too, because even like when people have been asking about NF, they're like, why haven't you done this yet? And it's like, guys, we're doing stuff in order. Like we're going to get to lie. It'll come one, out one a day yeah. and it's working for you. It's honestly, it's, I, I don't even know if it's the right way to do it. Like, it's just because it's so different because I know things could drastically change in the future because it's like, you know, like it's weird to say, but two months on YouTube, it's a lifetime. You just, yeah. you, you never know what will happen. So it's, it's, we just, we found something that works and, you know, we're trying stuff out and especially for yeah. the cave cast too. That's something that's been an interesting thing to try with uploads because it is such a different animal and it's like, mm. okay, like, you know, we have these hour long interviews or episodes, but there's not really more episodes that are coming out throughout, throughout the rest of the week because we do yeah. one a week. And so it's yeah. like, okay, well like maybe we post They're interesting clips them. Or... They're interested in cave cast videos, mate. I've watched a few of them. Thank you. Thank you. And you, well, you see me you comment to them sometimes. Yeah, it's the it, ones that have watched. Yeah, <laughs> some of them are quite long, so I have to watch it later as well. Sure. But if I'm in the car driving, it's a long one. I'll have it on the car while I'm delivering, so because I don't have to see oh. you, I can still hear you because it's the same. You can still get the same content, just that you're not physically seeing it. But it also helps your video and your algorithm and your watch time, etc., etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So I don't mind supporting like that. It's it's good. Dude. And I think we should help each other all the time. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, what is your what is your pet peeves outside copyright? Outside of copyright, we know copyright is a pain in the backside. Um, but what what annoys you more than anything <laughs> other than copyright? Because obviously we know copyright. I, I think that it's a pet peeve of mine would definitely have to be, and, and Eric and I have talked about this behind mm. closed doors. But it's it's one of those that I think it's something that as a content creator you do have the right to be frustrated, but in the same hand, it comes with the realm of opportunity. So like, for instance, um, if I had a nickel for every single time, somebody asked us where we got the name record road from, if (laughs) I I asked that as well, (laughs) so if if, if somebody like it's, it's the questions that we get uh, asked all the time. And like, it, it makes me 
kind of want to turn into Tom Wilson in a way where I'm going to make the question song where it's like, how's Crispin Glover? He's he's unusual or whatever, where he's like answering all the back to the future questions. Say it to Bo Burnham instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, it's, it, to me, like, that's the stuff I would say, like, that's kind of more of like a lighter one. But I think that yeah. the, the pet peeve of mine that when it comes to comes to it, I guess you could say is more of like a the comment thread is that it's when I see people that are being just unnecessarily rude they're, yes. you know, and it's that idea, like when somebody looks at our videos and they're like, oh, you guys are so fake. You're so this. It's like, <laughs> you're, like you're, there's no way anybody loves music this much. And it's like personally and very politely, fuck you. But in the same <laughs> hand, it's it's that idea where it's like, no, dude, it's like like we don't tell you how to enjoy entertainment. And frankly, it's it's one of those things where like this is where the asshole side of me comes out because yeah. I'm like. My mentality is it's like, well, um, I understand that this is very hurtful. Um, this 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 is very bad for you. But here, there's something good. There's this button you can hit. It's a back button and you can yeah. go watch somebody else, you know, and it's like that's the stuff where it's like, dude, like you, you have so little time on this planet that you're able to do something. And yeah. whether you believe in eternity or not, this this life is the tune up to the concert. It's like the, yeah. this This is a very small amount of your time. And it's like if you're going to spend that time shitting on somebody. It's Being just, negative. Yeah. It's just like, dude, like it's, that's the stuff that bothers me the most where it's it's like I've known so many people in my life that have the absolute right to be an asshole. And they yeah. are like they have just risen above that. And they've just been the people that you love to be around and to look at them and go, dude, like I want to be like this person, you know, it's like, yeah. I, like, I, like, how do you have the positivity that you have? And it's like, it's, it's with you. It's, it's with uh, the people I work with. It's with family members. It's, it's just that, that we've been very blessed that we have been surrounded by people that just love life. Yeah. And it's in, you know, absolutely. It's, so it's just, it's, it's just good. Man. No, it's so, gotta be. <laughs> yeah. You only hear once. You may as well make the most of it. If you spend spend your time being negative and down in the dumps all the time, mm -hmm. then you're just wasting your time. Right. You know what I used to do with the haters before. This is before you had a channel and stuff. Mm. I used to make a a series called Douche of the Week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing already. Right. And then someone oh, called me. <laughs> someone called me a douche, and spelt it D O O C H. So I changed it to Douche of the Week. <laughs> And for every, for every video, for every video I recorded that week, there was a little little graphic in the top corner saying "douche of the week," whatever the name was, and then I'd make a video ad, about their comment. And it was like, "You're pausing too much, you douche." So I'd do the video and I'd say, "Oh, I'm pausing too much." I'd, I'd, pretend, I'd do a pretend re reaction and sit there going ba -ba 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 on the pause button. <laughs> How'd you like that then? How'd you like that? You know what I mean? And I, I, honestly, I've got about ten. Douche of the weeks, honestly, it's uh, and they are funny. If you ever get a chance to check them out, mate, have a look because they are so funny, dude. So do, you, was, do, uh, do you have a playlist of them, mate, or is it? Or are they just yes? Uh, oh, dude, please <laughs> send, no, send me the playlist because I want to see. I'll those. send you the playlist. <laughs> dude, please, it's I'll... called douche, not douche. It's not spelt right. So that's probably why it's not got that many views. But <laughs> um, I did a series, like I say, right at the start of just absolutely getting these haters, putting them in that bracket over there, and then. <laughs> Just showing him like who's the boss, really. You know what I mean? Instead of instead of just answering the comment, yeah. And I, I even put a shout out the other day about um, a, a shot. It was a just just comments with my response, and one of them was too many f words in this video. I'm scrolling on. Then I put fuck off. Then <laughs> As the thing, and that was, that's that's my humor. That's what I do. If, yeah. I think if someone's being negative, I, I answer them the same way, sort of thing. And that's. That's just what I'm like, and and I think it's I think it's justified when people are being nasty for no reason. It's uh, right. If you've got it, you've got to address. It. You've got to address it, but you've got to address it in the right way. I think. Well, it's, I think it's also the fact that I mean, we're talking about talking about addressing it in the right way is that I try my best to be like Wendy's mean tweets, <laughs> like that's mm. that to me because it's like it's a very classy way of. You know, uh, I guess you could say like you know putting somebody in their place, but in the same hand, you're just like, look, dude, like. We Make can a joke. It's like, yeah, it's like we can tango all day, man. Like, it's like, like you being pissed off at me is not going to change the fact that I'm going to have dinner in an hour. Like, it's, it's, yeah. just, I'm sorry. Like, it's like, it doesn't ruin my life. Like, it's, no, it's, just, it's, it, I don't know. Like, it's, the internet is funny when it comes to those things because some people are Andy Dwyer's and they can't help but just respond to everything. But in the same hand, yeah. is that it's like, no, nah, man, like, I'll I'll play every once in a while, but for the most part, it's I think it was how D Gibby said it, um, which he's a fellow reactor. I don't know if you've uh, uh, seen him, but uh, I don't know that. Name, um, no. His whole thing is like, Gibby gang, let's dive all the way in. And he's like, he's, yeah, yeah. he's a super nice dude. And uh, yeah. 
I remember him reacting to Parkway Drive and he was Ooh, just um, doing his thing and he paused his video and I remember him looking at the camera and he said, he's like, when you come on to my videos, you remember who I am re reacting to and you remember the respect that you should have for these artists when you are here. Yeah. And it's, it was just like, dude, like that's so huge. Like I never thought of it like that because mm. it's like, we, we just think about, you know, our four walls of where we do our reaction yeah. and where it's like, nah, dude, like there's something greater happening here. Like it's the, you know, like whenever Ronnie does drop something that is top, you know, top of the charts and it's just blowing people away where it's like, nah, dude, like this, this man is to be respected. Like whether you like him or not, hundred percent. and it's like, it's like, he's doing something great, you know? And it's, it's just, I think that people like, People just they I think that they live in a world where their keyboard is their sword and it's like they think yeah. that they can swing it however they want. And it's like, well, no, like, remember, your sword cuts many things. And it's like, absolutely. And it's like, nah, dude, like you don't want to be the reason why somebody has an even worse day. Like you don't know what they're going through. But in the same well, it hand, takes one little thing that Kyle, if, right. if you've watched the film Falling Down with Michael Douglas, yeah, where, yeah. He, where he gets out the car and he goes on a rampage and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it only takes one thing, mate, doesn't it? It does. Some people can be having a really, really shitty day, mm -hmm. and then one one little thing. It might just be a comment. It might just be someone steps on your toe, but then it could set you off. Yeah, I un I understand that totally. I've seen loads of people like that, and yeah. to be honest, I was in a bit of a bad mood about the algorithm. But you know what I mean? I was a little bit antsy with it, like, Ugh. do you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I, you know, but I, I understand that people do get pushed to breaking points, and it just does take only something minute to set off the chain reaction of the bigger problem. Yeah. And right. we as men are bad for bottling up, mate. Right. It's, I, I think that it's, again, it's just pushing that positivity thing, man. It's just that that is to me, you are definitely one of the real ones of YouTube. I, I'm, mm. I, I'm, I'm looking at it in this aspect is that it's like, I look at you in the same way that I look at LA beast is that it's like, no dude, like you guys are the, like legit people. You were just genuine dudes having a human mm. experience and you happen to record yourself and people watch it. And yeah. it's like, it's the, you know, cause it's that, you know, that yeah. mentality of uh, how did Rob zombie say it? He's like, you know, he's like, my whole life is, I feel like I should have gotten hit by that car. I just didn't, you know? So it's like, <laughs> you know, it just, it's, uh, it's an interesting way to look at it where it's like, no nah, man, like we've, we've got an opportunity to do something here and mm. you know, let's just have fun along the way. And it's the, this, this entire conversation has been phenomenal. I, I truly, Absolutely, truly appreciate man. your your time man so no um the proper way that we're going to end this is that um i really love the way that hot ones ends their videos is that the floor is yours man so whatever you want to plug whatever you would like to say to the audience that this is your time you say to them whatever you feel what you got going on what do you want to plug do you have anything cool coming out what whatever it is that you want to say the time is yours before we kick this off i want to say rob zombie is responsible for the best halloween movie ever <laughs> I will say that the first one that he made. <laughs> um, I, cool stuff coming out. I have a lot of Ren coming out. I have a lot of. Oh, I've got loads of stuff coming. Out. I've got multiple reactions on my computer, and I, I can't even tell you what I've got coming out because I've got that many. I've got a schedule as long as me arm. Um, <laughs> don't know. I don't know what to say now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Go and watch me videos. Yeah. Go and look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's either way. No, it's dude. And always yeah. watch Riker Rhodes videos because these guys are cool as shit. You guys are my favorite reactors that I watch. So watch all your videos that I've done. Thank you. Thank you, man. Oh, I really God, I mean that, mate. I do. Appreciate like, I, that, brother. You've seen by the amount of comments that um that I do only because your mum messages me and says you better comment on that video when you've watched. It. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't want to piss off mom. So you're right. <laughs> I will come to the UK. <laughs> well, Lee, man, hey, man, imagine you, it, well. look, man, this oh has been my God. this has been incredible. I really again appreciate mm. your time doing this, man. I hope we can do this again. We can even catch a chat even when you want. whenever the camera's not on. I hope to catch a chat with you again too. So either way, man, I think we're gonna go ahead and sign off here. So uh, I want you to hey. enjoy the rest of your night, and uh, if it is sleeping. You do it well, and oh. if it is if it is you being awake, then fucking rock it. That's what I would want you to do. You don't know what so. I'm going to do now, Kyle. <laughs> I'm going to come off this, and I'm going to go and stream some Resident Evil 4 on Switch. Oh, my That's God. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the next chapter. Dude, <laughs> dude, best of luck to you. I hope that you kill those things properly, and uh, remember, headshots don't matter. So it's yeah, <laughs> and, and you, can tell, you can tell Eric, stop running away from zombies. I did see that <laughs> video where all the heads were coming out. It was like, where the fuck are these? Yeah. Like, just run, just run. <laughs> Come on! You heard him right Come. here, Eric. He's throwing shade at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw shade at him. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. All right, brother. Well, hey, man. Absolutely, mate. I'm, I'm gonna let you Enjoyed get off here, man. Kyle. But either way, dude, thank you so much, man. We will talk at you another time, brother.
Yeah, phone, mate. Anytime you want, just hit me up. I'll right, send you that playlist. Yeah, definitely make it. Actually, if you do that, I'll actually put it in the description of this video. I'll make sure <laughs> people can see it, dude. It'll be good. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. Nice All right, one. man. Cool, brother. Cheers, Kyle. See you, man. See you, mate.